λόπα κατέσχυνται με σιτία προς το ρίτι να με πάτετε. Μη παρήδεις, αμαρτωλόν δε είσαι ο φωνάς, αλλά πρόφασον ως αγαθή εις την βοήθεια νημών τον πιστός κραγαζόν τον σύ. Τα χειρονείς πρεσβείαν και σπέψον εσύ και εσύαν η προστατεύουσα ή
Think over what I say, for the Lord will grant you understanding in everything. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, descended from David, as preached in my gospel, the gospel for which I am suffering and wearing fetters like a criminal. But the word of God is not fettered. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain salvation in Christ Jesus with its eternal glory. Peace be to you, and with your spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. Now and 
or for the life creating spirit. Now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Here in Ipasi, peace be with you all. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may confess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit that created one in essence and Holy 
Catholic and Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in hope, let us be attentive, that we may present the holy offering in
praying for the three of you. Send out your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this is representing and make this bread of precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. So that they may be those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and nothing judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who impose in the faith. Forefathers, fathers, pentheers, prophets, apostles, teachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed and glorious Lady of the Autobus, and the Therefore, you, 
the heavenly God, the Father, and to say, Father, I am Israelis, I of the Mass, El Fetu Basilias, Gene Fetu of the Mass, also the Orado Edipis, Rapidly Motor Inclusion, those in Israel, Rapid Sweet of the Fetu Raymo, also the Sensitive Inclusion of the Lord of the Mass, Gene Fetu of the Mass, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, 
I will not give you your pieces to adversaries, nor will I give you your pieces to Judas, but as the thief, I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me.
May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love always, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our hope. Glory to you. May Christ our true God the good love and mercy to God have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercessions of His most pure and holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable body and stores of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glory, glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors Joachim and Anna, of Saint Demetrius, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints. Amen. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the grace of God, we reach this day of October 26, when we commemorate the great martyr Demetrius, the soldier and the civil servant in Thessalonica, who tried to use his hierarchy position in society to convert people to Christ. When the Emperor Maximian heard about this, of course, he was not pleased with this. And coming to Thessalonica after being victorious in the war, Maximian ordered the arrest of Demetrius. After he was interviewed and he proclaimed his faith, he was arrested and uh, in chain and put into a bathhouse. It also happened that with that occasion, of Maximian being in Thessalonica and he ordered that games would be offered to the people for the entertainment of the people to celebrate his victory in that war against the Shizians. And uh, you know how it was in those times that they were having gladiators who would fight in the arena and who do you think would be the people who would be brought to fight against this famous gladiator, Leos, who was a very strong man. Who do you think that would be the people who would be brought into the, into the arena to fight, to fight against Leos? Christians. They just want to have fun to see this very strong man, how he is beating up and killing Christians. One young man in Thessalonica, Nestor couldn't take it anymore. He went to St. Demetrius to that bathhouse where St. Demetrius was imprisoned and he asked for his blessing to receive to strength from God to go and as David killed Goliath to kill Leos. And that's what happened. After receiving the blessing of St. Demetrius, Nestor went to the arena, he fought with Theos, and he killed him. Of course, the emperor didn't like this. And he found out who was behind Nestor and who gave him the blessing to kill his famous strong warrior. By the grace of God, nobody throws us into the arena to fight any strong gladiators, in a way. On the other hand, all of us Christians are thrown into 
the arena of life. St. Paul speaks about the Christian life by being athletes and running after the rules in the arena of life. St. Ignatius Branchalinov, who lived in the 1800s in Russia, wrote a book of spirituality entitled The Arena because each and every one of us are thrown into the arena of life and we have to fight some very strong gladiators that are trying to put us down and to discourage us and if possible to kill us. They could be these gladiators that are fighting fight against us could be, can you give me some examples? What do you think? What do you think would be the gladiators that are trying to put us down in the arena of life? I'm going to give you a big one. Sickness. What about sickness? Is it easy when a sickness, an affliction, a body affliction assaults us? St. Paul himself, when he was given that thorn in the flesh, as he says, he pleaded to God three times to take it away from him. And what did God tell him? My grace is sufficient. You keep fighting the good fight because my strength is shown in weakness. When we are fighting physical illness, when we are fighting mental disappointment, disappointment and sometimes illness, when we are fighting an addiction, when we are fighting sin, when we are fighting with a sinful world around us that is trying to corrupt us and to put us down, and we do not give up, and we ask for the grace of God, and we follow the example of St. Demetrius and of all the saints who did not give up in front of hardships, we become Martyrs ourselves. Because martyr was the Greek, was the meaning of the Greek word martyr. Was the basic meaning of the Greek word martyr. Witness. Witness. We think of a martyr of someone who died for the faith. That's one meaning of the sentence, one meaning of the word. But the basic meaning is to bear witness, martyria. And that's what all of us are called to do. Our fight is a lot of sorrow. Our enemies are not as visible as the enemies in time, in the time of St. Demetrius in the, in the late 200s. But in the early 2000s, we still have to fight the good fight. And with the grace of God, and following the examples of the great crowd of witnesses that surround us and give us an example of how to fight the fight, we can be victorious with St. Demetrius and St. Nestor and all the martyrs of the Church. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is among us.